I uh, got a new torch off of eBay. It's probably the best torch I've ever bought or ever used, including the Cobra torch that I bought not too long ago. Um, this is a Harris. It's a Harris. It's made by Harris. It don't have Harris name on it, but it's definitely a Harris. Um, Harris made it for somebody, and they must have made it for a company. I guess it's called State. But the regulators um, have Harris on it, and I know this torch, and it's, every bit of it's a Harris torch. The only difference is this is chrome plated like the uh, Smith torches are. I guess just to make a little difference. And it also is the bigger styled and it has a on and off switch on it. Once you get it adjusted, you flip the switch and it stays on, flip it off and shuts. The other thing it is, the, the, the cutting head is a, it's not an equal pressure, it's a siphon pressure. Um, I forget exactly what they call it, but uh, as it, uh, oxygen goes through it, it actually pulls the fuel through it. So you don't, you only have to adjust, it automatically adjusts itself, the fuel, and it's LP. You can't use acetylene with it, which I do sort of like a lot. I'll show you how it works here a little bit, but I'm going to show you the regulators here. Because that's, I guess, the more, the most important part. The, the handle itself is just a standard uh, 18.5. I think it's 18.5. Harris um, torch handle. It's the cutting head that makes the difference. And as you can see, I got an LP tank hooked to it. And right on it, it says uh, not to use with acetylene. And it is a set of Harris, but it says all stayed on it. But they are a set of Harris torches. Um, I guess you can see that. Yeah, Model 29. And they're made by Harris, California. Cleveland, Ohio. But, but as you can see, there's no gauges on it. And it's... It's... The, you go by that side there. I think they call that a micrometer setting. I forget what they call that. But anyhow, that you can adjust. It's the the fuel. You can't adjust it. There's no adjustment on it. It's low pressure is what they call it. And I think it's like uh, two to four pound is all it'll send through. And then when it demands more, it'll actually siphon it from the oxygen side and mix it which seems like a pretty good system so far but I'll show you how it cuts like I say it's LP, I use LP, which LP is cheaper there's some argument well I guess it's not an argument about uh, LP not as hot and it's not, it's 500 degrees less I mean you. you you're not going to notice 500 degrees when you're talking 5,000, especially starting to cut. If you got a, if you got a cut, and if you if you think you notice that it's not heating up as much, it's in your head because it does it just as quick, and cuts just as quick. The problem with LP is you can't weld with it. You can braze, but you can't weld. It doesn't. Uh, it doesn't. You have a, a shielding gas. For some reason, it doesn't produce a shielding gas, so it will, so it will, molten metal, it won't uh, shield the weld as 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 L, um, acetylene will. But the main thing you get it for anyway is cutting. But I'll show you how that's how this thing works for cutting. It's a lot louder, but it still works pretty good. You open up the oxygen like uh, all torches uh, the whole way on the one valve and it still has enough pressure to get enough gas out uh, to light.
that that cut there is a clean cut for me and that's I mean look at the different thicknesses in that and that's a nice clean cut I don't think that Cobra torch can do that good. Not, and not without stopping. It, this is the best cutting torch I've ever used. Now I'm, I'm not talking about the bottom one. That was, that was done er earlier uh, with a different torch. But this, I put a different, I, that's the smallest size cutting tip, too. That is a zero, zero, zero tip. I mean, that's, to me, I'm not a good torch, man. That's, that's a good cut. So if you're looking for a torch, I imagine new, a torch like that. I only paid a hundred and some dollars because I got it on eBay. I imagine a torch like that brand new is probably eight hundred dollars with the whole outfit. If not better. But that swag comes right off. Yeah, no problem at all. That's That's a good torch here. That one, I'm keeping. That one's not going to go for sale. That's the second cut I ever made with that torch. Something you got to, with these uh, propane, is you got to keep the torch up further, which is nice. Because you've got a good variance here. You can, you can still cut. So you don't have to keep that steady, close cut. You can come up a little bit, and actually it throws more heat further up you go. Um, well, to a certain point. 